the sacred city of Caral. The remains of the oldest civilization in the Americas have been standing here for 5,000 years, almost unscathed, until now. Farmers in the Supe Valley are sowing crops on the doorsteps of these ancient ruins, and squatters have moved in. Archaeologists who work here say they've received death threats. We live in uncertainty. This is far away. If we call the police, they take long to get here. We don't know if the squatters will harm us. In Peru, illegal land seizures are common and lucrative, and squatters are often in conflict with police. Archaeologist Ruth Shadi was shot in the chest in 2002. She says she received more death threats, and when she tried to evict squatters from at least nine sites, she got little help. We went to the police, but they told us it wasn't their priority, that we could not count on them. We asked again, and they sent one officer. With one, it's impossible to evict them. Land disputes have been going on for decades. Since being named a UNESCO heritage site in 2009, Land prices around Caral rocketed from six to nearly $50,000 per hectare. Since the pandemic, the archaeologists left the site and more squatters have moved in. This is how close farms and urban areas are to ruins, not only in Caral, but throughout the coast of Peru, filled with vestiges of pre-Columbian cultures. The area is so vast, it's nearly impossible to protect it all. This archaeological zone is dispersed across hundreds of square kilometers. Otro, Families living close to it say they built homes here before it was discovered, and they defend newcomers. Pero el tema es que we need a place to live. If they pay us what we invested in our homes, we can leave, but they just can't evict us. Police seldom supervise the 11 sites now occupied by squatters. To evict them now, they will have to go to court, and that can take years. Some say those delays risk the future of this ancient site that survived earthquakes, climate change, and generations of Peruvians who revered it. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Caral, Peru.